Okay, a little overview of the RAV4 EV monitor uh, program. Here is the icon. We tap on it and start the program. It takes some time, but here we are. Uh, now, it usually takes uh, a couple of seconds to uh, connect to the car. There we are. We connect it. It displays all the values. We can see uh, on the screen that there are like um, seven different uh, parameters. Each of these uh, squares that present a parameter can be configured to display a different parameters. Um, to configure or display a different parameter, you just tap on the screen uh, on that particular uh, square and then choose the different parameter. Then it usually takes uh, the car a couple of more seconds to reconnect and uh, resync the stream and. Um, usually works. Then uh, there are four different uh, subscreens. You can see them with B1, B2, B3 and B4. The first three screens uh, are very similar to each other. They just display different parameters. And um, the fourth screen displays a list of all the parameters that are available in uh, that mode. You can see all of them here. Uh, it's very... Uh, it's it's a good thing to see all the parameters that are available in the car. Um, you can also change the uh, different uh, values or different screens by the hardware buttons on the bottom of the palm unit. You can change the different screens. Um, that's it. Uh, there is a configuration screen that allows you to um, make configuration whether uh, to log, uh, whether the distance is going to be in miles or kilometers, Fahrenheit and Celsius for degrees, etc. So um, that's it about the battery uh, communication mode. Uh, by tapping on the uh, bottom of the screen where it says battery, we can tap now, you can see and change to check communication mode. And uh, this communication mode takes much longer to pull parameters uh, because it takes or it tries to pull all the available parameters uh, from that ECU. Uh, that includes all the uh, uh, internal resistances and all the voltages for individual voltages for each of the, um, the module voltages. It takes some time to uh, reconnect and it takes uh, probably about uh, a minute to pull all the available parameters. Oops. There it is. So, state of charge is pulled. The others are saying please register because uh, yeah, we are running the unregistered version here, but uh, there should be a couple of uh, uh, couple of uh, values. Here they are, two of the uh, module 23 and 24, 12.2 and 12.1 volts, and similar with internal resistances, if we scroll down, they're right now zero, they're going to be displayed in a second or two, let's see. It just takes time, and there are so many values that need to be. There they are, 6.3, 6.4. So, um, and again, uh, the first three screens are configurable and uh, you can configure to look at any of the parameters that are uh, available on the fourth screen in a similar fashion. Well, that's about it. Thank you. Another interesting feature of the program is the background colors. If, for example, everything is green, that usually isn't about the, the right parameters, the right values. If, for example, uh, regeneration is uh, switched on, you can see here the uh, uh, background is blue, and, uh, and that means that the values are, uh, are okay, they're regenerating. If I put the accelerator on, then you can see uh, 44 kilowatts is about that mark that I don't want that much effort of the car, so it's turning to, right, to red. And these are fully configurable, so everybody can decide for themselves uh, what they want as a background color.